I'm from Cedar Falls, uh, up in northeast Iowa. I didn't grow up on a farm. My mom did. Um, so I got to go up to the farm and see my grandparents when I was a kid. And uh, I always enjoyed that, and I think that's where I got interested in agriculture. I want to farm because it, it gives me a lot of different challenges and the chance to work outside and pursue interests that I've had since I was a child. It combines forestry, soil science, uh, animal husbandry, uh, and plus all the business challenges like find, having to learn about finance and accounting. And uh, a lot of that stuff is new to me and I've always enjoyed learning new things. My interest in animal agriculture is for a variety of reasons. First of all, you can graze on cheaper land than you'd have to uh, use for row crop agriculture. So if you're starting out, you can use um, hillier land that's cheaper, plus you don't have the expenditures for uh, capital equipment. I don't need to buy a tractor or a combine or various other high, high cost equipment. And the main, the main expense is the animals themselves. And they reproduce, so you can start to, to build the numbers that way. A typical um, week or day for me involves moving my cattle. Uh, I try to move them three times a day, which is pretty unusual compared to most uh, conventional grazing operations where you might turn a herd of cattle loose for half the summer or even all summer on the same piece of land. What I'm trying to do involves having them graze one area pretty hard for just a few hours and then moving them to uh, a new piece of grass, a new piece of pasture. And that helps distribute the manure more evenly. It helps them uh, trample what they don't eat. And it basically improves the land, improves the forage quality, and keeps them healthier. I'm currently working on a business plan. It's definitely not finished. Um, I'm sort of evolving it as I go, um, but between uh, learning what other people are doing that are in the same situation as me and uh, utilizing some of PFI's business planning resources, uh, it's getting there. It's something I'd like to, I wish I had more time to pursue, but it's, uh, it's coming along. I would say one of the biggest challenges for me with writing a business plan is focusing on get it done and you know, keeping it constrained to a manageable task rather than trying to make this all-encompassing future vision for the next 10 or 15 years. If I can just have you know, a more realistic goal on paper, then I can focus on whether or not I'm achieving that goal. I joined PFI about two or three years ago, um, back when I was living in California. Uh, I had actually heard of PFI when I was a student at Iowa State. They were involved with the Leopold Institute. And uh, I was aware of PFI, I didn't know a whole lot about it, and that was actually what made the whole world of sustainable agriculture um, made me aware of that. And that's what made me, or helped me realize that it's possible to start farming. I had always thought you gotta have 300 acres of land that you inherited you know, hundred thousand dollar tractor and a three hundred thousand dollar combine, and had you know, having grown up on a farm, you knew how to do it. So PFI helped me realize that if you're direct marketing, you have a specialized niche product. You're trying to do something that maybe not everybody else is doing, and you're not selling back products back into the commodity market. You can actually make a living on a fairly small piece of land if uh, you're willing to put a little more management into it and try things differently.